our band met in Oregon. We lived there over the course of a couple of years. We were working as missionaries for our church. Our time there involved moving to various communities and working with this close group of rotating peers. Because of that, we'd all heard of each other and we had this reputation of being musicians. And so that started a little bit of competition between us. We sort of didn't like each other at the beginning. After about a year of living in Oregon, I got sent to a small town called Roseburg, and that's where I met Sam for the first time. The first night that we met, Zach came over to the apartment that I was living in. He brought a guitar, and we sat down and started working together, and we realized very quickly that maybe we were wrong about each other, that maybe this would work. Zach lived in Roseburg for a while before he moved to Southern Oregon, where he and I met. We got together in a similar fashion, and before we knew it, we'd written the band's first record. It's interesting that we had all met individually, but we never all three of us were in the same room at the same time. I think we all had the feeling that we wanted to continue to work with each other, but with Sam being from New York and Keith being from Idaho, we didn't know how that was going to work out, but they decided to drop what they were doing to move to my hometown in Utah, and we started a band. We decided to call the band Roseburg because it was one of our first experiences living on our own. It became a really inspiring place for us. Now it's kind of a, a home away from home. The average person, Roseburg, is just an insignificant place. But to us, it's what inspired us to be doing what we're doing now. And we hope that through listening to our music and through getting to know us, that you'll be able to feel the magic that we felt there.